Shut up and sit down. The cross-country team at Bernie High School is a team filled with passion, determination, and plenty of traditions. From running up Agony, to the Varsity Dads, to the Lake Run on Labor Day, the team truly is the perfect definition of a team. Every year, the goal is to get to state and win a state championship. The last two years, both the girls' and the guys' teams have gone to state to compete for that title. The process for getting to state is quite simple, actually. First, you must be one of the top three teams in your district meet. Then you must be one of the top four teams in your regional meet. If you're one of the top four, then your team goes to state. At the district meet, the boys team plays second, and the injury play girls team got fifth. So the boys team moved on to regionals along with senior Caitlin Schmelzer, who plays second overall at district, thus moving her on. This is Caitlin. She is a girls team captain and leads the team amazingly. As for the guys, on the bottom is Sam, and up top from left to right is Jacob, Seth, Juan, Carlos, Boone, and lastly, me, Max. Before leaving for regionals, I had the opportunity of speaking with some of the team about the upcoming meet and other topics. So Jacob, as a first year varsity runner, what does the legacy of this team mean to you? Uh, well, it's very important to me that we just try our best in everything we do and keep that legacy going for years and years after me and yeah, just give everything we got. Thank you. Well, for this season, I was, I was lucky enough to take over a program that's got a proud legacy. They've had a lot of, a lot of success in the past. And I was really looking to come in and just kind of keep that, keep that momentum rolling, keep it continuing. My, my ultimate goal is to win a state championship. Uh, I think that's the goal of all of our kids. So as a senior, it's really important for me to finish off strong as a senior and just in my career as a high schooler at State. So how are you preparing for the regional meet? Uh, how I'm preparing for the regional meet is, right, the team right now is in a war state of mind. I mean, we're here every morning in the early in the morning, you know, working really hard for this regional meet. You know, we're, we're prepared and we're going to go there. We're going to do what we do and we're going to go to state. We're going to work as a team and, you know, we're going to get it done. That's how we're going to prepare for this. Sweet. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, man. Being in state two times, it's, it's an experience. Uh, it's an experience I feel like everyone's had. I've had it twice already. Um, it's important to get the whole team there. Individual qualifying doesn't mean much. Uh, I really hope that we do well because I don't want this to be my last cross country race in high school. And um, I don't know, senior year, state, sounds like, uh, sounds perfect. Exactly what we need. So, as a runner, you have the most meets under your belt. What wisdom have you given to the younger runners? Run your race, remember what you're running for. You know, when you're in your low spots, just think about your team, think about who's relying on you.
Unfortunately, only one person was able to move on to state. Carlos Romero placed eighth overall and gets to compete at the state level. From Bernie, Carlos Romero. Let's go, Carlos! I know, I'm trying. Seventh place finisher, Gerardo Gallardo. Yay! Woo! Way to go! Go, Jim!